Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And I'm back into Light No Sky. Here's an event where we play No Man's Sky like it's Light No Fire. And it's an event between myself, Ricey, and Professor Cynical. Now, last episode, I managed to get myself some navigational data. I have five. Five navigational data. And I've also built my teleporter. And I've also managed to upgrade all my life support. So you haven't missed much. Not much at all, and you get navigational data by going to waypoints on the planet. So, pretty simple stuff. So anyway, I'm going to jump up to the portal, and I'm going to use this portal to go to the station. Now, you can't use your portals to jump to other players' bases. I mean, I suppose once you're dead and you're out of the game and you're in spectator mode, yeah, maybe. But not why you're actually playing the game. So here we go. Space stations. I've only got one space station. It's not the space station in this system. It's the one previous to where I got here. But here we go. I'm going to jump in and head on up to the station. And we're going to go and get ourselves some maps. Yes, cartography maps. OK. Well, I have arrived at Kate Head. Right, let's head on over here then. And let's go and get our maps from the cartography man. Hello there, cartography man. Well, he's actually a Corvax, isn't he? And, you know, the old Ricey is the Corvax. I don't know, I don't, I don't know whether I trust the Corvax anymore. Like, they could be baddies. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, right, so I want... Oh, no. You're the mission guy. Not oh, for fudge's sake. I went to the wrong one. Okay, it's this one I want to see. Hello there, chappy. Yeah, I'm after some maps, mate. Because... Ask for help. Ex exchange for specific charts. We'll go for that, then. And I would like your secure facility, because I'm hoping, hoping to get myself a, um, a manufacturing facility. Now, while I'm up here, I might as well have a look, see if there's any other navigational data. So navigational data inside of here usually looks like little orange cubes. And also, sometimes you see these server arrays. Sometimes there's one that's slightly broken. There you go. There's an orange cube up there. Sometimes it gives you nanites. Sometimes it gives you navigational data. Boom! Chicka boom boom! Chicka pow pow! Okay, we've got one navigational data. Just having a look, see if there's any behind me. None that I can see. But there's usually one of these racks that's interactable. Is it this one? Mm, okay, maybe not then. Maybe I'm imagining things. Okay, oh, here we go. I think it's this one. No, okay. Ah, this one. Here we are. Ah, oh, we got we got credits out of it. We've got units out of that one. If you head up here, though, there is usually another one in this corner. And sometimes it might give you navigational data. Let's have a look. No, nope, gave me units as well. All right, and there's no other orange cube, so I only got one navigational data in this station. Fun times. All right, anyway, well, we've got the maps. We've got the maps. Let's go back to our planet before we pop the maps. Because if you pop them in here, it can put them on any planet. You don't want that because we're not allowed to use our ships. So here we go. Back into the old teleporter, uh, your bases, and I want to go to my tea drinking HQ. Zoom! Well, I've arrived! And sometimes it puts me on my roof. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because I tried to hide the portal, it sort of sticks me up here. Fun times. It makes me a little bit vulnerable, but I am in normal mode at the moment because I'm in my base with PvP off, so it's all good. Right, okay, so let's pop into here then, and let's go and hit on up those new maps that I have. Plot route, are you going to give me a manufacturing facility? Supply depot. Hmm, well that's going to be, have a lot of sentinels on it. That'll be handy when I do want to do combat with sentinels, I can leave that there. Let's try again. Will I get lucky? Come on. Sweet. Manufacturing facility. That's what we're after. That's what we need. How far are we talking, though? Okay. Eight hours that way. Okay, well, this could be a fun flight, couldn't it? Right, well, now that I'm going to be heading off, I need to go into options, difficulty, change it from normal, all the way up to fill mode. And then I need to go into general. No, not into general. It's into network, isn't it? And I have to turn on PvP to anyone. Okay, right. Now let's get my little beetly friend. Okay, beetly friend, where are you? Boom. Cannot summon companion here. There we go. Come on, beetle. 
We have places to go, people to see, at a manufacturing facility. Okay, well this could this could take me like a lifetime. So I'll see you soon. Okay, people, this has made me a little bit nervous. I'm heading towards this manufacturing facility, but you can see there it says Professor Cynical's base. So I don't know whether he's built a base right on top of the manufacturing facility, but it looks like he may have already claimed this one himself. And I might be riding into the clutches of evil. I might be taking myself to Professor Cynical right now to get annihilated. Now, luckily, I'm not seeing Professor Cynical online right now, but, you know, if I did have to do tango with Professor Cynical, then uh, I guess I'd, I'd have to, but I, I don't want to, not yet. I'm not quite ready yet. I haven't upgraded yeah, anything We're down yet. to eight hours, and I still haven't come across Cynical's base. Now, Cynical's base is saying that it's only one hour away, so it's not not where I'm going. So that's good. I'm going to have to go straight past Cynical's base to get there, though. Now, part of me is thinking, because these waypoints are quite far apart, once I get there, if I did put down a base and then put down a teleporter, but if I clearly mark it as 07 Brew Crew, then maybe if I speak to Ricey and Cynical about the idea, but I'm thinking maybe we allow people to use the teleporters to teleport to bases that are clearly marked with their faction. So, you know, if, if, if one of my other factions then needs to get to my manufacturing facility that I've gone eight hours to claim, they can. To save them doing the same journey twice, I think that would help promote us to go around the world and claim places. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I've got an invite from someone that's gone. Let's say hello. That's, uh, that's hopefully he's got a mic and we can say hello to him. Hello there, Sir Onimus Gaunt. How are you, sir? I don't know where he's got a microphone. I can, hopefully you can hear me. I am heading towards a manufacturing facility right now. It's seven hours flight time of an African swallow beetle. And uh, it, it's, it's getting me there. It's getting me there, but it's not getting me there as swiftly as I would like. But um, yeah, hopefully I get there soon. Cool, yeah. But yeah, if you've got a mic, I'll be able to hear you. I'll see your you know, speech to text. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah. Bear, I can hear. Yeah, I can. You can actually hear me. There. I forgot. I ah. had the mic folded up, so ah. it switched. It switched off, and I'm like, I'm looking through the full system. Everything's working. And then I went, Are oh, you idiot? You haven't put the mic down. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, mate. Oh. Uh. So, good to hear from you. Yeah, you too, um, buddy. Um, quick question. You're yeah. going to the manufacturing facility. Yes. Is that for um, the level one pass? Yes. Right, come see me. I've got one for you. Really? Oh, yeah, okay. I've already been there. Oh, no. <laughs> did, did you put a base there or anything, no? no well, you only, you only get to use five um, save points. Okay. So, if you look over at Central's area yeah. and you see five save points, yeah, they're mine. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was around Central's um, base yesterday when I arrived. <laughs> Had a nice walk around. Go cool. um, There was there was nobody there. No. Okay. That's no. a bit weird, isn't it? So, I mean, his his base computer's under his stairs as you go in his door. Yeah. Get, th get through the door at the left hand side, yeah. go to the far end of the room, and he's made himself a little office with a desk and chair, yeah. a couple of posters. Yes, yeah. it's That's... quite nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, I, um... I, had, I had kind of hoped that he would um, have been there. I have, I have a nice uh, scatter blaster for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that would be nice. Yeah, take him out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sit on his spawn area and just keep killing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was the plan. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, but un unfortunately there was nobody there, so I had a good look round and then I headed over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still going to head towards this manufacturing facility because what I'm thinking is put a base on it, and then I'm going to speak to Ricey and Cynical and say if you've claimed different structures like a manufacturing facility, a colossal archive and you've clearly marked it, like with your faction, do you think it would be fair for us to be able to 
share it in the teleporter list so our other faction members can go there straight away, you know? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. So then yeah, it makes... Sh yeah, because you're doing it for everyone then, not just for yourself, aren't you? So... Yeah. I, I, I'm outside your base at the moment, so those butterflies are bloody annoying. Yeah. <laughs> They, um, they make a lot of noise, and then it, it crashes my game out eventually. Yeah, it's, it's done that a couple of times with mine. I've been going somewhere, and then suddenly it stops, and then it starts, and it stops, and it starts. Yeah. <laughs> I did want to thank you personally um, for making me a night. I appreciate that. Not a problem. You earned it, mate. <laughs> you know, you've got quite a few... Well, you, you, got, you gave us some good advice, you gave out some good technology. Did you actually do any kills in the end? I, I got killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I know you got killed, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the, the closest I got is when Cynical came visiting and you got him. Yeah, yeah, that was funny, that. Uh, that, that you couldn't have scripted that any better. No, that was quite funny. <laughs> we, we should have at that point said, no, Cynical, you're dead, mate. You're freaking dead. <laughs> because he went and got a yeah. neutron cannon, didn't he? And then killed me. Well, we killed each other. But, yeah, yeah, but you actually beat him because he died first. If you look back through the listings, mm. it, it's Professor Cynical, then you. Ah, okay. So you got he got you with a final burst just before they expired. Ah, uh, darn it. So you actually beat him, mate. You beat him. Hey, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, I mean, it's over now, but yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. I had a flying... Uh, I flew over on... I've got a lovely red and white bale. You've got to see it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, for your character, yeah. you mean? <laughs> yeah, for the character that I've got just now. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, it's the wrong, wrong climate, so mm -hmm. I can't get eggs from him. Oh, okay. Uh, but one thing I did want to ask. Yeah. Yesterday I was talking to a guy called Bo Chaser. Now, yeah. I believe Bo Castle is next to you um, at some point. And I was helping him out with some stuff. Yeah. As you do, resources. Yeah, yeah. Bits of uh, alien tech. Well, when I say alien tech. Um, oh, by the way, we own three central pillars. Oh, cool. Um, I took I took three central pillars yesterday. Yeah. Oh, wow, that, that's pretty good going. So we can switch them on and off at our leisure, to be honest. Hey, sweet. That's cool. I didn't know we'd capture... I'd have to check the Discord. I haven't been on Discord this morning. <laughs> um, I've... Well, I'm not linked to the Discord, so... Oh, OK. Um... A lot of people, all the things they find, they sort of put the coordinates, you know, the X and Y coordinates there on Discord, yeah. so... I'll be honest. Yeah. I've got Discord there, but I don't know how to find you to link to you, so... Oh, OK. <laughs> right. um, it's usually, it's in my video descriptions a lot of the time. Or, you know, on my channel page, the About page. It's on yeah. there. It should be there, anyway. I must thank you as well for the end credit song. Oh, yeah, do you like that? Yeah. Absolutely awesome, mate. Guess what I did? <laughs> what, you, you crop it and make a little sound bite? I, I made a ringtone out of it. Oh, sweet! That's awesome, dude. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I did it on the iPhone. Um, cool. Garage Band that's on the iPhone. Oh, yeah. I, pl I played the song, recorded on the Garage Band. Oh, cool. Um, edited that. Yeah. Uploaded it on a file and then downloaded it into ringtones. Sweet. So it's, it's, now, it's now a ringtone. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool, yeah. Yeah, so what I, as I, I did the track, I do apologise. Yeah. Um, I was I just talking to Bo Chaser yesterday. Yeah. Um, as I said, and I was giving him some tech, giving him some resources. Yeah. We were, we were talking about. Um, mullet tools. Oh, yeah. Um, I pulled out my multi tool that's got the scatter blaster. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, at this point, the poor guy had no protection. Oh, now, I, f I forgot that every time I pull my scatter blaster, the first thing I do is fire because yeah. I'm usually pointing it at something. Yeah. I killed him. 
you killed Bojangles huh? <laughs> in our own crew. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, I killed some more sentinels, gave them some more tech, gave them some more resources, yeah. and said that I would speak to you when you were on to see yeah. if you could get a death pardon, because it was a pure accident. Utter ac yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that that warrants a death death pardon. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other, the other option was, if I couldn't get a death pardon, I was going to say, give him my spot and I'll become a Jedi. Ah, uh, no, I, I think death pardon for that is, is warranted. I mean, you, you went over to talk to him, accidentally shot him, so, you know. He, I was giving him some tech, we were talking about... He, he, he had the basic bolt caster, so I was trying to give him the resources like wiring loom, chromatic metal, that sort of thing, so he could yeah. build up for the ricochet and things like that. And I says, well, this has got a scatter blaster, and as I pulled it out, it went off, and it, it instant. Oh, it man. It disappeared. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> so, I felt sorry for the guy. I, when I found him, I gave him everything I had. Yeah. I went sentinel hunting, gave him all the glass, the sentinel glass, so hopefully he's got a, a load of tech. Cool. That's good, yeah. Um, and I said that when I seen you, I would let him know what's happened and ask yeah. about a death pardon because it was a complete and utter accident. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that that warrants one, you know, a yeah, friendly fire type thing. I mean, it's it's not like you was doing combat or something with another faction. It was just a genuine accident. I mean, if he got caught in the crossfire while you was trying to kill Cynical, then that would have been fine, but... Uh, yeah. That wouldn't have bothered me. It would have yeah. been one of... Oh, I was talking to Stormageddon this morning. Have, have you seen the, the windmill that he built? The what? Little about? Windmill. Windmill, it's called, no. It's called Drivet something. No. Um, I suggest you check it out, and I suggest you check out what's under it. Oh, because okay. he's got a cave. There's a right. cave under there. Yeah. Trium, cobalt, nice. silver. Yeah. Yeah, a whole load of a whole load of I uh, gear me a whole load. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have to check that out. Just picking up a load of oxygen right now, making a little stop off. Um, yeah, I left a <laughs> I left a safe beacon in a field of oxygen, but unfortunately, it's close to um, the craniers. Yeah. Oh, fair <laughs> well. But the reason why I left save points here is because I wanted them to know that uh, basically the Vikings had been visiting. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, if Cynical's going to build a big bloody crane right on my repository, yeah. then of, of course I'm going to go visiting. Well, well, feel free to stick up a big neon sign that says 07, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't have the time for that. I'm a kind of get in, kill him, get out sort of, sort of player. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, um, that was the other thing. Um, the multi tool. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you gave me the scatter blaster. Oh, yeah? Because I, I've only got 14,500 in it. Okay. <laughs> but Stormageddon um, told me. That he picked up an alien weapon. Really? Oh, cool. So, I'll, I can't remember where it is, but I now have one. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Uh, and trust me, it's a cynical killer. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to test that out sooner or later, aren't you? Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, and Storm again. We were going through some paces. Yeah. Did you know that if I stand behind you when you're shooting cynical and yeah. I put my shield up, yeah. he can't shoot you or me, but you can shoot through the shield and shoot him? No, I did not know that. That's a bit sneaky. So we le we learned that this morning. Okay. Well, you could do with a killing crew then if you are to go and hunt cynical. Yeah, because you can have like shields yeah. and killers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then when whoever's shooting, 
And when they run out, mm -hmm. switch switch ends. They become the shield. You become the shield. Yeah. Well, I have got to fly past the Creola Kingdom. Um, I'm going to be flying past the Creola Kingdom in under 15 minutes. And once I get to the opposite side of the Creola Kingdom and get to a safe distance, I think what I'm going to have to do is find a um, like a building or something and just sort of rest there for a bit because. I'm actually on a on a quick break at the moment, so I've got to get back to do some work. Call in your um, chat. Yeah, just make it as like a little do um, yeah. Do a safe point and then sat in it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, a little mini campsite. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. That's, that's what I've been doing. I haven't put a base down yet. No, I mean you've got the five <laughs> over by the Crayola Kingdom though, yeah. Oh, I've got five safe points over there. Um, one's a freighter. One's a field of oxygen that um, I named 07. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, f two of them are facilities. Mm -hmm. And I forget what the fifth one is. <laughs> I think the fifth one was just for badness, to be honest, to say that we'd been there. Uh -huh. I found a tr <laughs> trading post here, so I'm going to stick down my ship here. I'm going to land here, and then I need... But, um, yeah, anyway, I'll, 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 end, I'll end up in a sec. Right, yeah. So anyway, people, I'm going to be ending off now. And, uh, yeah, so... I've got, got before, my break to go. I've got Omnus Gaunt here. Hello. Before, before you go... Yeah. Um, when Stormageddon's back on... Yeah. He's got, he's got a griffin for you. Oh, sweet, okay. I might have to bring my um, PC save back in with a couple of eggs to give to my character so I can fly a bit quicker, because it's taken me forever to get to this manufacturing facility. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, Bo Chaser, I gave him an egg yesterday cool. um, from one of the Beals, but unfortunately, yeah. he lost it when, um, when I was a complete idiot, to be honest. Now, okay. Not good. All right, well, anyway, I'm just going to make a save and then I, I'm going to have to log off and get back to doing some work. So I don't, I'm really just having a quick tea break. I just thought I'd fly a little way, you know, might as well. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to hit you up and get some of that 07 to give it a try. Oh, the 07 brew, the actual tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's on cherazina.com. Yeah, you just go on there and it's about, I think it's five quid a bag or something. It's, it's not too bad. That's not bad. No, not bad. Not bad at all. And they ship to the UK. So anyone in the UK, it's all good. Oh, excellent stuff. Cool. All right. I'll give that a go and then I'll hit you up for a mug as well. <laughs> yeah, you can find those inside. If you go into my About section, click into there, you can find the Discord link to get to my Discord. But in there's also a merch link. So just on YouTube, that top banner, hit About. Yeah. Oh, excellent stuff. Ah, uh, buddy. Oh, there you go, people you inside the viewerverse. I, I haven't made it to the manufacturing facility. Not even close. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to bring in my PC save with a pet egg that can fly fast, so I can do it in double quick time. Oh, Stormageddon's yeah. also got a dragon. Oh, I sweet. think he may be get may be giving you an egg from that. No, he showed me it this morning, and oh. the things like a it flies like a bull out a gun. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Okay, well, I've got a dragon, I've got a bird, I've got, like, about six of them. It might be one of the ones I gave him last season, I don't know. Anyway, uh, take care, uh, buddy. See you later on, Miss Gaunt, I've got to go. See ya. Bye-bye. Take, take care, have a good day, mate. See ya, mate. Bye-bye. Captain, Captain Steve, thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Jardine. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Mike2K. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, thank you for channel going on.
1975.